Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed Sunday's video. I know it wasn't a bling bling my friends, but I'm just at this stage of the game in this um, summer season when the trailer's at it. I have to get, if I want to get a video out, sometimes I may not be in the proper order that I usually do them in. So I apologize for that, but this is so cool. I actually, I really love how that tray turned out, the, the holder, amazing. So with that, we're gonna get into a couple of things. I'm excited. Um, number one, I just wanted to let you know that I do now have a discount code for crystal resin, resin of choice. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. It is Sherry Molten 5 with a capital S. So get out there, get your resin. And it is free shipping within Canada and the United States. And I'm pretty sure it's over $50. So with, with free shipping after you spend $50. So with that, so we're going to get into some things. I wanted to, I pulled out my tray and I had set this painting in there to dry. So I wasn't even sure if I showed you the dried results of this split canvas. It turned out so pretty. So I'm gonna probably top coat this one and my pink one from the other day. And I'll show you that when they're top coated. And then I wanna thank people that donate to my PayPal. So when I purchased that resin um, drying machine, which I sent back. That's what I used the money with. I, I spent it with that because it was something that I wouldn't normally spend because it was quite a bit of money. It was like 200, sorry, I'm putting my coasters out of the way so I can move something up. Um, it was like 200 and some dollars Canadian for me. So I thought, well, no, I'm not wasting my money if it didn't work for me. Um, other people enjoy it, that's fine. So when I got the money back from that, I purchased a couple of molds. They took a little while to get here, so I'm going to um, show you what I got. So these are from Shapes and Molds from the, the, other, the Netherlands. I can't speak today. And I am excited. This one is what we're gonna do with today's video. I'm sorry, I'm getting all this out of here because it is huge. I didn't realize it was this big. And I'm excited because it's it's holographic. I don't know if you can see it, it's holographic. And it's all num letters of the alphabet. It has the little hole. So you could put the key, I don't know, it might be too big for a pendant, but we're going to try it out. So this is what we're going to do with today's video. And um, I also had to share with you, <laughs> too funny, um, I purchased the, um, the fire pit glass for my um, fire pit at the trailer that I showed last week. Why have I not been buying this? People have told me that they buy this and I just never paid attention because it seemed to me it was a little expensive. What? Like, look at the size of these pieces of glass and they are hologram. I got a mixed bag for my, oh, I can't pick it up with that hand. I have a mixed bag. It is, um, black, silver, and gold to put into my fire pit thing. So guess what? This has to go back to the trailer, but I'll be buying one for myself for my bling blings. So that's kind of funny. So, well, there you go. So that's my little, oh, and I did one more thing here. I, like I said, I've been doing jewelry for uh, a long, long time. I quit doing it, but I have all of these products, but I had ordered this bezel set from Amazon. I will link it in the description box. And it had um, heart bezel. Very nice. It has the silver round. It 
it has the silver square. And this set had quite a bit. Um, it has the brass oval, um, the brass heart, the brass oval. I think that was it. And then I got six of each of those four. And it came with the glass piece that goes in it. But I'm going to show you how to do something with these glass pieces. It's really cool. So it comes with the the little glass pieces that fit over top. I painted these. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to do a video. I'm going to show you. And it came with the chains. Like it's just the, the little leather chain. That I'm pretty sure it was under $20 Canadian. So that actually is a pretty good deal. So there, that's my little show and tell. I'm going to go get my crystal resin, which is upstairs in my... I was just going to say my refrigerator. It's off my kitchen sink because I put it in a little warm bath just because my basement's a little chilly. And... I'm going to um, go through all the stuff we're going to do with this because I'm going to mix a bunch of different pigments and um, some glitters. And I want to just see because I thought I would gift all the lovely ladies at work a keychain with their initials. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to get my resin. And when I mix my resin, excuse me, I do wear my respirator. When I come back to do the video, I choose not to wear it. My choice. But please wear all your PPE when you're doing your resin because I want you guys to be safe and healthy. And with that, I'm going to go get the resin and I'm going to get it all mixed up. And I'll see you back when we're ready to get into this mold. I'll see you in a second, guys. Hello, I am back. We are all ready to go. I have my mold on my big tray so I can place it into my um, baking rack for it to harden now i have mixed up i took a little shot glass filled it with water pretty sure one of these is a half an ounce so i've mixed up way too much as i always do i have decided i want to make one two three four five six seven eight i have eight initials that i need and i'm gonna mix them in a bunch of different colors so i'm gonna mix four I'm going to try to divide this into four colors. So I've got my little cups here. I'll divide this up into four. And we are going to just do whatever I can. And then I might put the flower in the middle if I have leftover. We'll try that out. Or I'll do the common initials. So I've opted, I'm going to do two of Laura's pigments that she's given me. And I have two of the pigments from Crystal Resin because I like this blue and yellow. I've never really seen yellow in a pigment. So um, I was a lucky girl and got a few of them from Crystal Resin. So... There we go. So that's all mixed up. Now we have chosen here. I'm going to move this just out of the side so I can mix up because I'm afraid of knocking it over. And then when I'm all mixed up, I will bring the tray back. I hope that makes some sense. There we go. So I'm going to use Got to have a little glitter in, so we're going to put a little bit of glitter in them. So this one is, we'll start with these two first. This one is a lemon, yep, my apologies, lemon yellow. It's from Crystal Resin. And let's get in here. All right, so I'm going to take my... Remember, I got probably a good two ounces in here, so I'm going to take about that much. And stick it in and we're going to see what we get here. Oh, 
Awesome. I might do just a tad bit, <clears throat> a tad bit more, just because I, I want it to be opaque. I don't want it to be see-through. All right, so that again was lemon yellow. Now I gotta dig out all my keychain stuff. I'm not sure where I put them all. So that's the lemon yellow, beautiful. And we're gonna put a little scoop of mirror mirror in there. We won't go too crazy with the mirror mirror. Like I'm gonna do maybe that much, about a quarter of that little spoon because it's a holographic mold. So we just want a little something something in there. There we go, so that's good. Now the other one from Crystal Resin, this one's called Aqua Blue. And I don't think I've even used this one yet. Let me, oh, sorry, I'm getting powder all over. It's hard to open things with, with uh, these gloves on. All right, so we're gonna do, we're just gonna go for it. We're doing a big hump, a big glump in there. I'll set that there. And make sure your micas are really mixed. It's kind of nice to mix them and let it sit for just a minute to make sure that they're well incorporated into the resin. My fingers are too, the, my fingers on my gloves are too long. They're getting into my, my work. You know, that's pretty. And we will put, again, a quarter scoop of that amazing glitter. And it's more so for the back, but the only thing is with glitter, it always sinks to the bottom of a mold. <clears throat> so, all right, this is the candy apple blossom the one i just used oh it is so pretty laura all right and i want it like i said i don't want it to be see-through so i'm using a chunk like that i'm gonna leave it open just to see it is pretty Just stunning, Laura. That's just stunning. All right, I'm going to put, again, a quarter glitter in there. I think that'll be pretty for some of my Canada Day stuff that I got in my brain that I want to do. Perfect. And again, that one was Candy Apple Blossom. Oh, look at that. That silver glitter just shines in there. And last but not least, we're going to use the Bleeding Hearts also from Laura's Art Corner. And again, we're just doing a big, a big old chunk. There we go. Kind of like a pinky holographic -y pink it's really pretty and I'm again we're gonna put a quarter spoon of that in there and then we're gonna get pouring it into the molds there we go so I'm gonna set these over here just so I can bring back my tray and here we 
go. <laughs> Sorry, my the little box came in. There you go. That's tape on it. It was stuck to the bottom. So I just want to make sure that's on the center so I don't tip it over. And there we go. So um, I know. Let me do the ones I know that like red. So, and please pour properly. So I'm going to do a D. For delightful. I'm going to do a J for joyous. Hmm. I'm going to mix them up because I know these one. I know the people I want to do them for. So I'm going to do a couple. So I got the D, got the, the J. Let's do the P. For peculiarly, pe oh, okay. I'm not going to be able to talk today. There we go. Let me mark it off because I am, look at that. These gloves are so big. So I've got the D. Got the D. Got the J. Got the P. I need the, we'll do a second one. We'll do a T. And then the other ones are going to be V and an R. got to do a blue one for me so we're gonna do an S maybe just a little more on that one there we go perfect so we got the, the V the R the S my We'll do, oh, let's do a K from my daughter. I'm going to do it in red. That's a lot. I've still got a lot in here, guys. So let's do an N. for my niece X for my sister-in-law let's do a B for my mother-in-law Um, let's do an M. I don't know. I'm just filling them out. We'll do an M. An I. Um, an 
L. Let's see. We'll just fill them up. We'll see. And then I'll know, I guess. Eight ounces will do. Let's do an F. I know. So I'm gonna scrape what I can out of here, maybe kind of put a little more in that one. And then a little more in this one. And maybe a little one in this one up here. There, so that's that one done. Well, there we go. We'll do the red. We'll do another, we'll do the A. And the H. Just a little in each one, just to get rid of all of this. Awesome. And let's do the Y. And then we'll pour just a little in each more of these. Dripping, get this scraped out. And the pink. So let's do the E. Oh, maybe there's. Okay, we'll do the E. That's a W, sorry. And I don't think I have enough to do any more. So we're going to just spread this one out a little, if I can, without overfilling. There we go. So that took eight ounces. One, two, three, four. So probably... I'm going to say maybe 10 ounces to fill the whole thing because you'd need a bit for that. So amazing. All right, guys. So we're going to let this cure overnight and I will be back tomorrow to unveil. Now, I don't want to use the torch. Let me get, where is my little guy? I'm going to use this little guy and like, I don't know if you can see, but there is not much of a flame. Center, center. That's all I'm going to do. There, that's it. And then I will come in and do a quick little spray of this alcohol. And that's it. I don't want to put no more on there. All right, guys, I'm going to put this in my um, baker's rack, let it cure overnight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All those pretty colors. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, my beautiful people. How are you? I'm excited. All right, here we go. Let's get this, let's get this off here. Get rid of that shiny, shiny. We'll just put it on this piece of wood. 
go, let it go. That's the O. Now what I'm going to do is, let me see here. Let's get them all out first. Ooh, yuckies in there. Where is it? This is the A. Awesome. You can kind of see the holographic on there. Now we're going to have to do something to bring out those letters. And there's the B. Here, I'll just pop them all out and then we'll take a peek at them. This mold is huge. I didn't realize how huge it was. I just wanted it because it had the alphabet. I thought it would make cute keychains. Oh. And I've spent an hour almost trying to look for my keychain, all of my keychain hardware. I don't know what I've done. So when I finally find some, I'll show you. Okay, I can see it now. It's, it was kind of hard to see the holographic, but that's pretty. What I'm going to do is we can either do a marker, we can do just some straight paint. There. I'm going to bring you in closer. I'm just going to find my marker. Let's see. Let me just see if this will work. Where's the S so I can goof up my own. Okay, so there's the S. And I'm just going in the line. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. I do have That is so funny, I can't find my stuff. I'm gonna go get my stuff to paint on this and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. So this is what it looks like. I had was playing around, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'm just gonna bring you in a little closer. So. If you can see the holographic can you see the holographic and I was so disappointed because the, then the holographic kind of disappears so I'm gonna have to keep trying to wash this so let me get oh, I'm looking at the letters looking at the letters here this is one's a J I was looking to see who I'm working with today so I'm gonna give the J I'm not gonna do all of these I'm just gonna show you how I did this so this here is, is just Artist Loft Acrylic Flow, even though it's not Acrylic Flow. It's Artist Loft. This one's metallic white. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take my little silicone spatula. And we're going to pick up some paint and we're going to get messy. We're just going to do this. Bring it in. And you want to work it into those grooves. I had a little wee, 
like a needle squeeze bottle that had paint in it that I used for my dominoes and I can't find it. it up and try and get the oh sorry guys I keep forgetting that I bring you in there. get all the edges And I'm going to bring it down so I can scrape it down better. And then scrape it off. And I'm going to scrape off what I can in here. And let's get this. Wipe it off. go and then I'm just going to wipe the edges off with this wipe before it kind of dries oh my fingers are not working today oh well, I have my appointment this morning with my surgeon. I can't believe it'll be a month. I gotta wipe off my hand. It'll be a month tomorrow, uh, Friday that I've had my hand done. <clears throat> it looks pretty good. Let's get that in there. Let's get all the edge off. Perfect. So I'm gonna let the rest of that dry. <clears throat> if I can scrape off. Yeah, it's already dry. So I'm gonna let that dry. <clears throat> and then we'll come back in a minute or so and I'm going to put the keychain on this so you can purchase the keychains like this I had a whole bunch of them I can't find them so um I stole from something else to make these today guys so I have to stop off at the store and get some more so I'll take my pliers I'm just opening up those little rings I'm hope is hoping you are focusing. And we're going to put that right on in there. Hopefully it'll fit. Sometimes you have to windle your way with these jump rings. Sometimes they're not big enough. Sorry. There we go. It's in there. And then we're going to take the other one and close it. Sometimes. There we go. We have a keychain. See that jump ring's not big enough, so but there we go. Now let me see, is it kind of dry? I wonder if I can just take this and wipe the rest. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna make it more more cloudy. See how that happens? So you have to let it dry. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so this J is dry. While this was dry, I put the paint in these ones. So we're just going to... Oh, no. I think I just got too much paint. We're just going to give it a rub. And get the excess off. These ones I was neater. I haven't cleaned these off, so it's just a matter of 
once you get going, figuring out how much to put on. I just thought this mold would be cute because I'm in a Christmas sale, a couple Christmas sales this year. Now that COVID's kind of finished, <laughs> sort of finished, you know what I mean? Things are opening up here in Canada. So yeah, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. J for Judy, S for Sherry, K for Kimberly, Vicky, Diane, Terry Lynn, <laughs> my co-worker, my daughter. So anyways, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell up there for notifications. And if you have not yet subscribed, please, please think about subscribing. I would love you to join my YouTube family. And with that in the description box, I have the links to everything we used here today. And I also have the, um, the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to purchase, um, sorry, my brain just totally died there. Here, just a sec. Well, there we go, my friends. That looks so cute. You can see the holographic in there. So I'm gonna proceed and do the rest of these. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed <clears throat> playing around with my new mold. This one came from Molds and Shapes from the Netherlands. It's amazing. So with that, um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell up in there for notifications. And with that, everything that I have used here today is linked into the description box. And I also have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I also have the links to um, Let's Resin with a discount code, Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. I also have the li links to... Oh, Sherry M. Sorry. Sherry M10. I have the <laughs> capital S. And I also have the um, links to, <clears throat> sorry, my new discount code, which is for Crystal Resin. Crystal Resin. It is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And also I have the um, links to my Amazon shops. I have the links to the two amazing Larez distributors which was michelle from artworks resin canada check out her website use my discount code as sherry molten 10 capital s capital m and also the amazing laura from laura's art corner i have the <clears throat> sorry my american Larez distributor my glitter guru we use some of her pigments today and my discount code for laura is all capital letters sherry molten 10 and with that, my amazing people, um, don't know if I mentioned my Amazon shops, my links are in there. I'm an affiliate with them. And also my PayPal link is in there if you choose to donate, which is where I purchased these molds from today. Thank you all very much. So with that, my amazing people, I am out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.